All right, what's going on? This is DeFi Money Printer back here with a Avalanche DeFi video. Here we are on Defrost.finance and we are taking a look here at the Super Vault. And these are uh, some brand new vaults here. Um, and the unique aspect of these vaults is that they retain all rewards from the original platform. So for Trader Joe, you're gonna get the uh, trading fees for that pair. But uh, when you deposit here in the Super Vault, your farming rewards um the uh available farms on trader joe they your super vault will be deposited in those farms and uh be auto compounded daily um so this is uh really unique here um where your yield bearing lp tokens uh are really able to retain all of the available yield from the original platforms as well as unlock the line of credit here against your own collateral to mint h2o the uh, first native stable coin built here on avalanche and uh yeah we're gonna show you how to do this so show off the key usdt um on ben key here so what we have to do uh, to participate in that, we're going to swap good portion here of our avalanche to USDT. And we are gonna make it, uh, you know, try and make it somewhat of a round number there, 1165 USDT. docs.defrost.finance um, and you will want to understand the mechanisms, uh, your security and risk there. And if you do have any questions, feel free to come to the Telegram and the Discord here for Defrost Finance. All right, so back to it here. Um, so we have our USDT here on Avalanche and um, reminder here we got uh, Defrost here on Twitter at Defrost underscore finance. And like I said, uh, we are going to show you the super vaults here, but to everyone out there watching now, happy new year and uh, new year in crypto here. Hopefully big things to come. So we're gonna show you here Ben Key Finance, um, which is one of the platforms you can use collateral here on Defrost. So we're going to app.benkey.fi. All right. And we are going to approve the USDT here in Ben Key. All right, so we just deposited uh, and approved the USDT here to go into Benkey Finance. So we can uh, use the Super Vault on Defrost Finance. All right, so we deposited the USDT here. And again, we are uh, going to be adding the liquidity here for the key USDT Super Vault. 
and all you have to do there from defrost finance is hit the add liquidity button there we are uh, set up there our net apy is 9.43 percent so it says we have the lp tokens here um available and it equals to the 1166 just about the amount that we deposited and we are just going to mint 1000 h2o so this is a stable coin collateral and we are earning that nine plus percent in yield on that and the minimum ratio is 105 percent we're playing it a little bit safe here going with 116 percent and just minting a thousand h2o hopefully uh, mint our h2o stable coin here for defrost finance and uh indeed indeed we did um, so what we're going to show you here, what you can do with H2O, you go to the farming section here of Trader Joe. And you can type in H2. We have the H2O AVAX farm here on Trader Joe um, using the native stablecoin h2o and we do need to obtain some of these lp tokens so the way to do that is we are going to swap half of this h2o back to avalanche and we're going to provide that as a liquidity pool token so once we have the 50 50 usd value in both h2o and avalanche we are going to create a pool here and put h2o and avalanche and we're gonna hit max on the h2o because then there will still be a little bit of avax left over uh, and you do want to save that for uh, some remaining gas Bees. always give yourself a little bit of safety buffer there so there we go we have our 500 pulled h2o 4.41 avax here in uh, the pool on trader joe and then on the farm section now we have 46.82 lp tokens and that's the representation of these uh, funds here and remember uh, adding to liquidity pools you are subject to some impermanent loss risk uh, so do familiarize yourself with that as well as how automated market makers and liquidity pools and yield farming works so we are staking the h2o and wrap a vax here so we can get some joe rewards on trader joe so you can see now that we started with uh just a little bit under 1200 uh usdt we deposited on benki finance here on avalanche we use that to create collateral for a super vault here on defrost finance which allowed us to mint h2o and remember there's a minimum of 1000 mint h2o for the super vaults um so again remember review the documents if you have questions come to the discord or telegram and the last step here uh, like we said we are staking the lp tokens for h2o avax here in trader joe farm quick refresh the page here um, we may looks like we just didn't send the transaction through yet and it should uh, be going through here now 
So we have staked uh, about $971 here in the H2O AVAX farm here on Trader Joe. So now we're getting 60.63% APR, uh, providing liquidity on this pair. We're earning Joe rewards. Um, make sure you check out Trader Joe at TraderJoeXYZ.com. We're also getting any swap fees on this pair, so it's about 4% on average, uh, just the daily average there today. And yeah, that is it here uh, for Defrost Finance Super Vault. Uh, we did show off the Benki Vault here, um, but do just want to remind you, Trader Joe users, uh, these are available to you: AVAX USDC, AVAX USDT, Wrapped ETH, AVAX, and X Joe, all for the Super Vault. And these all return uh, retain your farming rewards from Trader Joe, and they add to your collateral there uh, so you can mint the H2O. DeFi Money Printer, I'm out.